Hello people, it's Cole, and today we'll be flipping through a very springy issue of Red Book. This magazine is from March 1997, and it's featuring the fabulous Vanessa Williams on the cover. <laughs> I'm here for you every week with a vintage magazine flip through, so stay right here with me, and let's get started. All right, so on the cover, isn't this so beautiful? <laughs> I love, well, I love purple. It's my favorite color. And we're doing, a, we're doing a purple and green, bright, springy color scheme here. Vanessa is wearing this sort of flopping, slouchy, soft, um, lavender purple cardigan. She looks very beautiful. Her hair is like all swept to one side. And she's like laying down on this green green void <laughs> casual you know for red book casual book we are going to be learning what to wear this spring which is can't wait to see what are we wearing in spring of 1997 who knows okay let's see what's inside car ad very 1997 looking couple here talking about how <laughs> this car will uh, make it so you don't bite your nails or pull out your hair or um, have an ulcer or sporadic twitching because it's so chill to drive this car love this very brown brown scape <laughs> brown sweaters they're like wearing like matching brown <laughs> Outfits. Dream couple, you know. Couple goals. Two thousand calorie mascara. Fattens lashes two hundred percent. Max factor. We'll talk about some new nail colors. Very dark colors really for uh for spring, but you know, spring can be dark and moody, too. Vanessa Williams, back from tough times. Oh God, she looks so stunning in this hair color and this, like, orange lipstick. She just looks like, so beautiful. I can't even stand it. Oh, my God, cool. Maybelline Greatwear Budge-Proof Lip Color. I do like these disembodied, like, <laughs> floating <laughs> box lips right here. Budge-proof color that feels great, not dry. We have Christy Turlington wearing a dark, kind of brown, dark red lipstick. Chomping on some <laughs> sunglasses with a matching nail color. Incredible. And then we have all of the little, like, lipstick tips down here lining the bottom with their names that go with them, which is so great. There's some new colors, new for 97. Iced Mauve, Silver Lilac. I would be very curious to see what that would look like on the lips. Marble, which is like a white, kind of champagne-y color lipstick. Iced Coffee, a lot of like cool tone colors, like cool tone gray colors <laughs> gray purple colors this color is so like i don't know this is the color that vanessa was wearing on the cover too this like really dark brown red it's very time era specific there's that nail polish thing red alert just as you were tiring of last year's flat pastel nails, along comes metallic, iridescent, and pearlescent polishes. It's kind of like what we're talking about with this uh, pearlescent, iridescent, metallic, like this is the lipstick too, is these lipstick colors. L'Oreal Plentitude Revita Lift Eye. This I don't. It's very subtle. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's like a, like her face is sort of a l slightly blurred, but then there's like a 
clear, like much more clear kind of high contrast strip across the eyes. We're bringing clarity to your eyes so they're not fuzzy and dusty and old. Wow. Okay, over here, Biolage, Rebecca Romain, and uh, a little girl. I don't know if that's like someone who's related to her or not, but they both have beautiful curly hair. And again, we're seeing a metallic, frosty lip right there. Very, uh, we're, we're really getting a lot of, um, a lot of earth tones, a lot of like soft, neutral, kind of like beige earth tones, right? Here, here, I feel like that was, uh, that was also, seems to be something that was really happening, kind of like a minimalist thing. Wow. Uncomfortable shoes are for dummies. Easy spirit spa shoes. <laughs> so we have these like clonky, blocky heel little loafers. We're wearing a little black dress. Some dumb dumb dummies. Mannequins. It's a joke. Huh? Or back here. And then a couple of more loafery shoes down here. Office appropriate loafer shoes. I like this strappy one with this shiny dark brown leather with a gold buckle. That's feeling real, real mom to me, and I love that. There's been a lot of car ads so far, which is normally not very interesting, but the Red Book woman, I guess, is uh, someone who can afford to buy cars, so and specifically cars that are like maybe for a family, like a minivan, Plymouth Voyager. The idea is that we've built a minivan that is, combines the, the positive qualities of a sports car, a taxi cab, a camper, a school bus, and a moving truck. And this funny little mashup, like exquisite corpse <laughs> car thing. It's pretty cool, I actually quite like this. It's hard to make a car ad that's memorable, I feel. Wow. Fashion bug. Fashion bug. <laughs> Isn't it time to change your clothes? Says fashion bug. <laughs> I have a, <laughs> I have a Barbie book that is, I think it's about like ice skating and like all of the Barbies are wearing this exact outfit. They're wearing this like mini rib, mini stripe, colorful turtleneck with like a solid jacket and black pants this is the look <laughs> i will have to check to see if that book was published also in approximately 1997 because that would be that would make sense it's a great look i mean this is a very very era specific look and she's even got this like you know f like messy french twist thing we're wearing some silver hoop earrings there's like a mini skinny little belt not bad for a fashion bug i have to say Oh, and it's purple and green, just like the cover. Ha ha ha. Ooh, perfume sample. Icy. In French, it means here, but you can wear it anywhere. Put it where you want to be kissed, like on the bottom of your chin. Okay, and let's see if this has been opened. Don't think so. Okay. Oh yeah, this is definitely not been opened. Oh, fantastic. Oh wow. I can smell it. It smells like perfume. This is, you guys gotta get icy. <laughs> it still smells right. It smells good. It doesn't smell like glue. It doesn't smell like it went off. And it smells like something. That's impressive. The sensuous fragrance for women. It's kind of an ugly bottle. It's quite huge as well. Like, look at how much real estate you're giving up in your uh, vanity with just for that clonky, big, huge top. Ooh. 
Nikki Taylor for Liz Claiborne. Some beautiful, minimalist, soft spring 90s fashion. We saw this hairstyle before, this like really um, kind of streaky blonde highlights and it's kind of like greasy, greasy part. I guess it's the side part and the little like bump in the front, the little lift in the bangs that's, that's really what makes it look <laughs> extra greasy. <laughs> Who, where did I just see that? Right here. Her hair is short, but like it's like the same hair. Greasy. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't look that good to me, but she's working it. Oh, there she is again. <laughs> More greasy hair, another minimalist look with some simple all black head to toe, these little like leather slide on sandals. Liz and Lycra. Whoa, oh my God. The Delta Burke collection. Lifestyle fashions for real size women, 14 through 26. Available at department stores nationwide. It's Delta Burke. She's got some dresses, some suits, some jeans, some jackets, some, uh, you know, whatever that is, night nightgown. <laughs> she looks great. She's making like the exact same face in every single one of these pictures. <laughs> which is like a smirky smile with no teeth. I wonder why that is. Ooh, Linda Evangelista. Feel the power of cutter. C cutter? <laughs> Feel the power of color. Ultress Clairol. Linda Evangelista is, of course, f known for changing her hair color all the time, or she was. Find out why Linda Evangelista is so passionate about every shade of Ultras. But hurry before she uses it all. <laughs> That's funny. Cool. Wow, which, uh, which Linda's your fave? I don't know. I like the brown hair Linda. I feel like that's her natural hair color or some somewhat close to it. But I do like the red hair, especially with this like little bob because it's like, it already looks like a wig anyway. So why not have it be like a, like like a crazy red color, you know? It's more fun. I guess how do they even do this ad? I see I suppose she she's either wearing wigs or they like digitally change the hair color, but it doesn't really look like that. It looks like these are the real hair colors. So she must be wearing wigs and you can see that like the hair part is only visible here in this one and you can't see the hair part or the hairline in any of these other images. So that tells me that it probably is definitely wigs, um, which is a little mm, not great for a hair color ad, but I suppose they could have dyed the wigs with the hair color. Oh my God. <laughs> the beautician and the beast, Fran Drusher. This is like a product placement thing. This it, this ad is specifically saying, can you see Depp in this picture? Depp hair gel. It's saying, it's basically admitting that they have this product placed in the movie and like, go go see if you can find the Depp in <laughs> The Beautician and the Beast in theaters this Valentine's Day. Whoa. When was the last time you had a totally organic experience? Remember when Herbal Essences was doing that, like, orgasm <laughs> ad campaign? <laughs> I love the way that this old Herbal Essences packaging looks. Yeah, with that green top, it's like the same color as this carpet. And then it had, like, the pictures of the flowers on the back and, like, the shampoo was clear so you would see it, like, as if it's, like, herb suspended in, like, olive oil or whatever. Very smart. They really, really knew what they were doing with their marketing. All right, the Vanessa Williams nobody knows. She went from national scandal to international success, and now she tells how her acting career, her children, and the new men in her life have given her the strength to survive. The article talks about talks about her her life. I mean, it's a very you know very dense. It's a nice. 
I appreciate when there's an article that gives you the whole thing, like all, mostly all together. You don't have to go to the back of the magazine for like the entire thing, right? I don't know why they made her, or like making her talk about, she was Miss America in 1983. She was lost her title and was dethroned because old topless photos of her like surfaced and were published in penthouse which is so fucking awful i fortunately that's not all we're talking about we're talking about her acting career her singing career oh my god her christmas music is incredible save the best for last so good like and then even after this she went on to be in like Remember, she's in like Ugly Betty and stuff. <laughs> she's busy. She's very multi talented. Spring style, we know what you really want. Red is the season's top choice. Red for spring. It's this is based off of a poll. They did like a poll. And that's what this article is uh, featuring, the results of their spring style poll, which is red. A foolproof strategy is to go for statement making head to toe. Love that. Head to toe red. Classic jeans, sophisticated easy work looks, stacked bobs. Cool. Oh wow, I love these pink and orange, like patterned, like crisp, crease front pants. And then these really bright little sandals. That is so cute. The girls we love to H-A-T-E, cheerleaders. If it hadn't been for JFK Jr.'s wedding, we wouldn't have had to relive these, relive these insecurities. But his new wife is so perfect, so blonde, so skinny. Some of us feel like outcasts in high school. Again, here, how to finally ease the pain. This is so weird. <laughs> I guess I didn't, I, I don't know. I knew that Carolyn Bissett was like, uh, you know, an it girl, but I didn't know she was uh, triggering the population with her perfectness. Ooh, a weird doll. Okay. The Winter Romance Bride Doll from Ashton Drake Galleries. The most breathtaking bride of the year and truly a remarkable value. Four payments of $24.49. That's $100. An exquisite porcelain bride doll gowned in white and silver with touches of fur. She has a fur collar. Uh, and fur cuffs and like a fur sort of headpiece with a veil attached. <laughs> There's even a little story about her. As she glides down the aisle, the winter sun shimmers off her billowing satin gown. The soft light catches the sparkle of rhinestones, the gleam of silvery ribbons cascading from her bouquet of rosebuds. There's something truly special about the bride who weds in winter. For she is the joyful symbol of a winter romance with a happy ending. Oh, here we get a close-up of her face. She is very pretty. I do like this dark brown hair with blue eyes for like a winter bride. That's nice. I love the idea of, of a winter bride or being a winter bride. It's like, it's, a, it's the most untraditional, I suppose, time of year to get married, but it's perfect because White wedding and white winter, that is so dreamlike and lovely. Um. <laughs> what window? Cinch window spray. That is a very striking ad. This woman is shoving her face into a glass window because she can't see it because it's so clean from Cinch. Ew. <laughs> Jelly bellies. Look at that ugly jelly bean with bunny ears on. And here's the 40 true to life flavors. I guess at the time there was maybe only 40. What do you guys like? What jelly bellies tickles your fancy? And which one do you think is the most disgusting? I would have to say my favorite is probably, 
I feel like it's always been Island Punch because I'm so partial to purple. And also it's just like an interesting flavor. And it's not too weirdly fake because <laughs> it's kind of non-specific, you know? Crushed Pineapple, I love Pineapple too. So there's a lot of good choices. And as far as ones that I don't want or wouldn't want, um, I don't know, root beer sounds kind of gross to me. <laughs> Ew, peanut butter, that's the worst one. That's the one I don't want. Peanut butter. That's fucking gross. And it looks like a little turd, too. <laughs> Why another doll ad? I have 25, but I'm always on the lookout for new friends. That's you right there, looking sad. Oh, we saw that shoe before. And also the black pants and the mini stripe little shirt. The look of 1997. Madame Alexander Easter doll. And she's got even those yucky little rabbit ears like the Jelly Belly pink thing had. A pretty good split screen ad for Cheer, Color Guard. Don't go from purple knockout, 30 washes and cheer, to purple haze. 30 washes and leading regular detergent, which fades your clothing, I guess. What's a mother to do? The Red Book Mom. This is like a whole mini, um, multi kind of branded thing in here, all about being a mom. I guess this catalog really is like, or this magazine really is um, intended for moms. Home Alone. Do you think a 10 year old is old enough to stay home alone? Many of my son's friends do, and he wants to try it. I feel nervous, though. Did you get ever get left home alone at age 10? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm also the oldest, so I'm quite mature. Um, the answer is that it depends on your kid and how responsible they are. You can do build, your, build yourself up with shorter like stints at home alone, see how they do, and then work your way up from there. It also suggests <laughs> using a beeper for emergencies purposes, which is exactly what I did when I was, I didn't have a beeper, but my mom had a beeper. When I was home alone when I was 10, my mom had a beeper. It was for work because she worked at a hospital, but gotta beat mom. <laughs> gotta ask her to <laughs> bring us Wendy's <laughs> on the way home. <laughs> oh, I'm a brat. Ew, the downy ball. How can downy softness be so simple? Remember this thing, you throw the ball in there, plastic ball that you put the downy fabric softener in, it's like huge. And it goes in there and it spins around and disperses the downy. Maybe people still use this, I don't know. It has like a, you know, like a twist mechanism. So there's like water is gonna get trapped inside that and just be like wet all the time. Constantly like sitting wet with like wet crevices. Yuck. <laughs> and I don't even use fabric softener. Like, do people even use fabric softener? It seemed like you had to do that or you were supposed to. But I've never done that in my adult life ever. And, like, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> my clothes are fine. My towels are fine. This is the same concept as the other one. Using, like, how using a, a shitty detergent, I guess, can make your clothes fade over time. A tale of two sweaters. I guess people were really wigged out about their laundry. Now it's just kind of making me a little wigged out about that I'm like not doing my laundry right because I'm, I don't know, are my clothes all faded and like stiff? Am I, these ads are working on me. They're getting in my head. Is this real? Hold on. <laughs> Bet you can't smell our most important ingredient, scratch and sniff. Clorox, fresh, scent, clean up, cleaner with bleach. Is this a real thing or is this like a... Yeah, I can see there's like a... There's a texture difference between this part of the page. All right, let's see. Scratch and sniff that Clorox. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Oh, it's very fragrant. It smells... um. It smells good. It smells like this. It smells like a cartoon picture of a blowing open window. That's what it smells like. Red Book was really like, 
were they using good quality paper? I don't know what it was, but all their scents are like still high functioning even after all this time. Wonderful. <laughs> I don't know why this is like, this got me very pleased. I really like this. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, Miss Misty, light and sassy, oh my god. Menthol lights, is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Look at these colors, these jewel tones, so like bright and shiny. It's gradient text with this like, it's these satin, you know, fabric scape, satin green turtleneck. She's like hugging this fuchsia polka dot pillow smoking light price too why are the misty ads so why do they hit so different than all the other cigarette ads they just they're very beautiful and i think they're it's because they're not trying to be like fresh like fresh like outdoor fresh like there's other ads cigarette ads where it's like women outside smoking I don't want to smoke outside. I want to smoke inside. <laughs> I want to smoke inside of a jewel box of a room with sumptuous fabrics. That's what they're doing differently. They're for indoor smokers. <laughs> this is pretty much the first time, like the only real dedicated fashion thing we're seeing that's like spe specifically pastels for spring. Pretty in pastels. So here's some celebs in some pastel get ups Faye Dunaway we have a couple of suits now Natalie Cole Katie Couric Deborah Norville Natalie Cole looks amazing in this suit with this like chic updo really I think she probably looks the best out of everybody actually in these pictures I really don't like this <laughs> pink satin like baby ballet pink coat on Katie Couric. I think that that's really ugly, actually. <laughs> trying to see if it has a matching... It looks like it's a coat and a, um, like a little shift dress that are the, like a matching fabric set. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Katie. <laughs> Worst dressed. <laughs> Worst dressed of spring. On the back, Nagzima, feel the healthy tingle of Nagzima. There's a teeny, teeny, teeny little picture of a fan blowing teeny little dotty lines on this uh, Nagzima gal here. So fresh. Well, there you have it. Red Book, March 1997. If you guys liked this video, give it a like. It really helps me out. If you do, and I would love to hear from you in the comments if you have any thoughts on, you know, what is your favorite Vanessa Williams song or movie? <laughs> do you think Katie Couric looks weird in that pink jacket? Please sound off below. I would love to read and respond to your comment. I will see you all next week for another new video. So until then, take care. <laughs>